the same allergies that I have. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. A very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Some tradesmen and car insurance company bullshit. Now, follow me. I'll be brief. I did a couple of ticked off Vicks about tradesmen in the past. I don't know what's going on, but something has to change. But a lot of them over the years. Here's the deal. Recently, we had a leak in our pot filler over the stove. You know, the pot filler is the faucet over the stove. So you can fill large pots of water right on the stove without having to carry it from the sink to the stove. Anywho, we had a little leak. So here's what happens. First of all, the plumber shows up with his nine-year-old son. Okay, I'm all for bring your kid to work day, but I want work getting done when I pay for a service visit. I don't need to babysit a nine-year-old to worry about the liability of having some strange kid in my house touching everything. I just want the fucking work done. Secondly, the plumber checks out the sitch and then spends an hour looking for the right Allen wrench in his truck. Okay, here's the fucking deal. You know the problem. You know what the problem was for a pot filler because I told you that when I called for the repair. And you know that pot fillers have that little Allen screw or, or not, or whatever the fuck you call it. And it needs an Allen wrench or key or whatever the fuck you call that too. Anyway, you need an Allen key to fit the fucking screw. So what happens? I had to get my fucking Allen key set so the fucking plumber could actually do the job. How does the fucking plumber not have the same Allen keys that I have? How does the truck not have every fucking tool a plumber might need? What the fuck? Again, I have to lend the tradesman my shit to get a job done? Now he's finally ready to work, and get this, he asked if I have a ladder. Anyway, here comes the big finish. After fixing the problem with some plumber's tape, the fucking plumber tightens the fucking Allen thing and hairline cracks the tile. Yeah. Thanks a lot for coming to fix the fucking problem. Maybe you should go to electrician school now. Wow. Car insurance scams. Here's the bottom line. I'll get right into it. My friend has a 2006 car in perfect shape. He maintains it beautifully inside and outside and mechanically. He does all the work. He gets hit by another fucking driver. And you know what the insurance company does? They decide not to repair it. And instead, they consider his car totaled. What does that mean? That means my friend gets the value of his 2006 car, which is which is nothing. So now my friend has to go out and buy a brand new car because someone else hit him and the insurance company gets out of paying for expensive repairs by considering it totaled. What happens if someone can't afford a new car? Why should he be penalized for someone else hitting him? What's the fucking point of having car insurance? How does this even make any fucking sense? And here's the nut cruncher. When the insurance company considers the car totaled, they get possession of the car and they take it to auction and they get the money for the car. Seriously, what in God's name is going on around here? I'm out of order. You're out of order. This whole fucking court is out of order. Fucking shitty tradesmen and bastard insurance companies. That's what ticks me off.